My grandma had, uh, she had a garden, she had a chicken coop, and so every place didn't really have any electricity. So when I saw this, it kind of reminded me when I go pick up eggs uh, you know, from uh, chicken coops, and it would be all dark, and uh, you know, only chickens would be kind of glowing in the dark. There. So it kind of reminded me going into a little shags, and you know, there's something that I think there's skin maybe of some sort hanging. Things like that. We also had the old uh, uh, jars where she would preserve uh, pickles or tomatoes and things like that. So it kind of uh, reminded me of that a lot. When I was about seven years old, uh, my uh, country got torn. The area where I was born uh, got in a conflict. We lost everything. The house, you know, a uh, nation was scattered uh, completely. And uh, my family had a pretty hard time uh, coming up. But when I moved to Russia, I entered uh, this uh, art school where teachers concentrated on you know, composition, skill, uh, how to paint light on a color, um, anatomy, obviously I'm attracted to that, which is uh, one of the reasons I picked this piece. As one of my teachers said about Velasquez, is the people that in the portraits that he's painted, they still have a soul that lives in this portrait. And it's the same thing here because you could tell you know, this person has really liked what he saw and the soul of that human being still lives in this painting and that really uh, attracts me a lot. And so one of the most difficult things to do, I think, for a traditional painter and for, for me as well. I don't know if I ever accomplished that goal or not, but I hope that uh, one day I will. As one of my friends said, they are artists and they are painters. I have no idea what I am, but uh, I'm trying to be an artist, but I'm not trying to be in a very cliche way. Uh, everything I paint, I try to be honest about it and settle, which is an extremely difficult thing to do, I think, for anyone. As a traditional painter, I first thing I look is at the skill. Uh, I hear so much, you know, the people, uh, every time I was asked to give interview, they want to know inspiration, and this word inspiration keep uh, coming up. But after 21 years of painting and having a family that's been in the art all their lives, for us, it's just waking up and wanting to do this at this point. You know, Stravinsky was asked, where do you get your inspiration? He said, at my piano. So there's no such thing. Yeah, you might watch a film or see an image that you like, but most of it is just constantly painting.